Good morning. It's Thursday, June 22nd, 2023. This is your Georgia WeatherNet morning update. Another rainy day in Georgia. Yes, the rain keeps coming. We do have a flood watch in effect for a good part of the state today. And you can see where those storms are coming from, from the southwest moving northeast. So where's that? It's coming from the Gulf of Mexico, bringing in plenty of moisture. And that's going to help these showers to continue to develop as we move through the day today. Taking a look at temperatures across the state, fairly mild again, low to mid-60s in North Georgia, have those 70s in Middle Georgia and South Georgia, and dew point temperatures to match, so plenty of moisture in the atmosphere to help fire up thunderstorms today. Level 1 out of 5 risk for the southeast part of the state, all the way up to Augusta, and including the Georgia coastline, the rest of Georgia in that lighter shade of green, that's our general thunderstorm risk. And then tomorrow, we're going to take the level one out of five off the board completely and just go with the general thunderstorm risk throughout the state. With the exception of the extreme northwest corner, some drier air starting to move up toward uh, Tryon and up in uh, up into Dade and Walker County. So going to be a pretty nice day tomorrow in extreme northwest Georgia. And then we push that drier air a little bit more to the southeast. Saturday looks pretty good. You're going to hear lawnmowers cranking up all over the state of Georgia on Saturday. Our best rain chance will be along the Georgia coastline. But the rest of us looking pretty good. A little bit more sunshine, and that'll help warm us up just a bit as well. Let's take a look at the tropics. Two storms to talk about. We have Tropical Storm Brett, and all the signs still show Brett is going to continue this west motion heading into the Southern Caribbean, heading towards Central America, and probably going to weaken quite a bit before making landfall. So the European model has been really, really good about forecasting so far, and that's pretty typical. So we'll uh, keep just kind of watch what they're looking at. And then we have a Tropical Depression now, Tropical Depression 4, which is out toward the west. Enough space in between these storms here to uh, give some breathing room. And it looks like this is going to become our next tropical storm, which will be Cindy. And the Euro model, yeah, pretty much in agreement with the National Hurricane Center here. And then they say probably going to make this move toward the north and start to weaken Uh, a beam Florida, somewhere here. So we're not looking at really any threat toward the east coast of the United States or for Georgia, but of course, we'll keep an eye on it for you. Let's move through the day today. Those uh, showers continue to track from southwest to northeast, and you can see kind of going cellular in nature, so we'll watch out for a few strong to severe thunderstorms as early as the late morning hour. So after 10, 11 o'clock this morning, could see a couple of uh, severe thunderstorm warnings start to pop up. Later this afternoon, they become a little bit more numerous. There's that center of the low right over Lake Seminole, so everything's spinning around that. Showers popping up over the North Georgia mountains as well with that mountain lift. And as we move through this afternoon, again, you can see most of the activity stays south of I-20 and mainly east of I-75. Mainly east. We'll see a few thunderstorms around the Albany area as well through this evening and into the late night hours. Overnight tonight, scattered showers possible pretty much anywhere in Georgia. It's going to be mostly cloudy, a little humid as we get started tomorrow morning, so look out for some fog. And then heading into tomorrow afternoon, scattered showers still around most of the state. We're going to watch that continue to slide to the southeast. Saturday morning, just starting out with some clouds, maybe some sunshine in parts of north Georgia, and that will be a little bit more prevalent as we move through the afternoon and into the evening hours. So just, um, you know, again, main our main rain chance is going to be down in South Georgia along the coastline, and that's going to be scattered at that on Saturday. So uh, we may have an opportunity to get a few outdoor activities done Saturday, and then Sunday looks pretty good as well. And then another big rain system moves in to start out next week. That's the latest from the Georgia Weather Net. Now your local forecast from northwest Georgia to southeast Georgia.